Okay guys, Craig Tompkinson here, Tonks Tips. I just uh, had this aluminium tray here and I've just taken it off. I should, I should have videoed it, I've never, never thought. But what I'll do is I'll uh, put a photo of it. I had this and I uh, had a few old things that had to go to the dump. So I had it um, on my trailer here. And I'm uh, sorry about the wind, I bet you it's blowing the gale. Uh, just it's only days to stop raining. Yeah, I had it mounted there. I just had it, a bit of timber at the front was on mounted there. And the uh, I had another bit of timber across here, across there, and I had it screwed on. And uh, anyway, if you um, today's more about showing you how to put your boat back on or take it off. This is my old five metre tinny. She's sitting on two tyres there and a tyre at the back here. And because I've got a tilting trailer in Queensland, uh, maybe a breakneck trailer in Western Australia or somewhere else. Right, eh? You just um, pull the lever, um, roll the truck back at a bit of speed, have the uh, your winch cable hooked onto the nose of the boat and let it out about three feet, a metre, sorry. You just come back a little bit of speed, hit the brakes, the boat slides back. Straight away then that puts it onto the tilt because it's a tilt trailer, you just buddy pull this lever here and uh, once she gets back a certain way she comes up, it's got the safety chains here and there, both sides to stop her tilting up too high. And uh, I'll just, uh, then you just let her roll her off onto the tyres. Now I'll just reverse that process and show you. I got it jacked up here a bit so the tyres didn't sag too much. So put that over there. And what you got to do so you can see to line up the roller is just open these back doors. Then I can look down my rear vision mirror. I can look through that rear vision mirror down and I can see see the uh, the roller at the back there. Then I just back back and uh, I'll take this uh, take this one off here. It'll be in the road. Put him over here, hook him up later. Right, oh, I'll just, uh, I'll back in and show you. See, she's on two tyres that side and a tyre at the back. And uh, just back her in. See, you look in there, in the, in the trailer, in the rear vision mirror, and you can see the trailer out the back. So, in reverse, I just, you just bring her around there. Bring her around, bring her around until she's pretty straight. Right, eh? I'll hop out and show you. It could, it could be a bit straighter than that, but it doesn't matter because it's a self aligning roller. It'll just roll on. I'll just come back a little bit. The motor at the back's trimmed up. You notice I've got. Uh, all your transducers are taken off and slid up inside. Don't have them on the back of your transducer. Pull them up and put, drop them in there. The motor tilted up. And a good idea is just actually, that one's perfect. You have it dropped into the tyre like that. So when I go to back back now, it'll lock into that tyre and it'll stop. So, and uh, what I'll do as well, is I'll just unclip this. Okay. Right, oh, just put a bit of strain on that, unhook that little thing, and we'll pull this out. That handle could fly off. You pull it down here, and you hook that on, and just take the strain up a fraction, and that stops the boat when you back back, going any further away from the trailer. Drop that back in there. Now I'll just, I'll just back back a bit. 
And this thing, once I back back a bit, she'll slide down those rollers or slide down the, uh, the hull. And I'll just kick this one in here. That roller to make sure she picks it up. There we go. She's an old trailer. It's an old Redco trailer and I converted her. Put bigger springs, Toyota springs. I put um, coil springs as well, shockies on her. And these are front springs off a HJ75 and all the running gear, disc brakes, Toyota bearings. I did that axle up more. My mate and I did it up in 1991. That's a, it's had two sets of bearings in it in all those years. And then I strengthened this trailer up. This is my Cape York trailer. Yeah, and this is how I just get her off. I actually, I had some foam in the back of the boat and I dropped, dropped her off to pull that out too because it's hard to get it added up on the. So yeah, hop back in the old girl. With the mirror, you can see. And you just come back steady. And now she's going the other way a bit. You just kick her up. And you'll see the boat start to rise. There you go. That's all it needs. I can just sit the trailer here now. You can see her in there. You can do this with your tilting trailer. Walk around the other side. Break neck tilting trailers, whatever you want to call them. Then you just wind her up. How hard's that? I'm doing that left-handed and I'm right-handed. Right oh. Now um, I'll leave them tires there. I'll just wait, see if they're going to hook on the motor. I'll just go forward a fraction more, then I'll just pull them back out of the road. And up, oh, what I did here too, like up in here it was all full of foam. I was putting this boat in survey and right up under the floor was full of foam. And I took it out because I didn't do it properly. This boat hasn't quite got enough ribs. If you had another rib up in here, you could lay all the foam up and it doesn't sit on the floor. They sit on the floor, they can start a little bit of electrolysis. And I was, this one hadn't, but I was worried. It had a little bit up the front. And, uh, but I just pulled it out for long jeopardy and it was also trapping a lot of sand and a lot of bloody guts and scales. And I found three big sinkers inside it. Right, eh? See if this is still going. I'll sit that there. Hopefully it picks me up. Hey, and you wind her on. Another beautiful thing about um, the uh, tilt and trailer is when you launch them, your bearings and all that don't even go in the water. Your brakes, I launch my boat into about that much water at the back. So because it's long, the tyres, generally the rule of thumb is I put the tyre into the depth of the rubber. Just let the rim out and she will just slide straight off. I'm getting fat. I'm trying to lose weight. safety chain on her then I've got another one over there should have a tripod but uh, it's blowing I'm sorry about the big see and that's all you need to set her up on your back back put the first two down get them sorted out when she's out off the ground and the trailer's down then you put these two under and then I generally just drive out from under it Plop, she's straight down and on and uh, get up here, turn the kill switch on. 
Put the motor down. Here's another thing I do to them. Through this nut on these 60s, that little nut keeps coming loose all the time. I just drill them out, get the right temp, uh, the right torsion on them, drill them out, put a bolt, a pin through them. Stops that nut coming on, undone. But yeah, I'm just getting it ready to, I might put the pots back in one day. But like I said, I had that tray on it and I did a few loads of the dump. But yeah, she's, uh, she's all good. I'll lock her up there and... Okay. Thanks for watching. I hope you learnt something out of that. If you didn't, you can switch her off. But don't forget to subscribe. I've only got a few subscribers. Um, I've been doing it for four years now. Videos. <laughs> so, yeah. Alright. Catch us later.